Hi everybody, this is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab, and in this video I'm going to explain the difference between pages and posts in WordPress. I know a lot of beginners, they struggle with when to use a page versus when to use a post, and I hope after the short video you'll be able to figure out which one to use when. So pages to start off with are generally static, whereas posts are you're constantly adding them and making new ones. Pages you usually only make once. So for example, the about page, you probably only make one of those and you never make another one. And it's also that or the pages are not listed by date. So it doesn't matter when you publish them, there's usually not a date tag attached to them and they don't move around the website based on the date as would a post on a blog. So conversely, posts are listed in by default in reverse chronological order on the home page or on the post page. So every time you add a new post, it replaces the one at the top of the page and it's like a block. It keeps adding the new posts to the top, whereas the pages just stay static and they usually link to in a menu, in the header, or on the sidebar. Pages are also not found in the archives, categories, recent posts, or other widgets, meaning that they only serve one purpose, which is static information. So they're, and, and they're usually, like I said, they're usually linked to from the menu system. So they're always accessible, whereas posts, they can be ordered and reordered based on categories, tags, archives, recent posts, most popular posts, things of that nature. Pages are also not displayed in the RSS feed. For those of you who don't know, RSS stands for Real Simple Syndication. And what happens is when you post a new post, it goes into your RSS feed, and that can be fed into an RSS reader. So people have these programs on their computers that are called RSS readers that pull in the newest content from all their favorite websites. So they don't have to go and visit them all, it just pulls them right into their reader, and they can see it right there. Now pages are not found in the RSS feed, but posts are. And the RSS is for regularly updated content, which is what posts are for. For a blog, it's a blog post, if it's regularly updated, so it belongs in the, in the RSS. Pages are static, they don't belong in the RSS. Pages, as you probably guessed from a, a statement earlier, do not use categories, nor do they use tags, and posts do. Generally, on, on most websites, the number of posts far outnumbers the number of pages. So uh, there's no solid organizational system required for pages because there's so few of them, whereas posts, you might have hundreds or thousands, depending on how big your blog is, and so you want to be able to organize those into categories and then further organize those based on tags so that people are able to access the most relevant posts easily. Whereas pages, they're usually a low number, they're usually linked to in the menu system all the time anyway, so there's really no need for categories and tags on pages. And that about sums up all the main differences for pages and posts. And a good rule of thumb is if you're making a page that isn't gonna change a lot, if you're making an about page, or a services page, or uh, sometimes the home page is static, then you use a page. But if you want to have regular posts where you post daily or weekly or monthly, you would use a post. And that would be part of the blog. So posts are part of the blog. The page is part of the static website. I hope this video helps you. Uh, again, I'm Bjorn Alpass from WP Learning Lab. Please subscribe and follow us on social media and be sure to check out WPLearningLab.com where we write about WordPress stuff daily. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.